Line of balance, I will just repeat the previous uh, slide that line of balance is a layout, means arrangement of machine capacity to secure relatively uniform at capacity operations, whether it should be manufacturing, whether it should be in case of warehouse or whether it should be in case of, uh, uh, you can take any uh, heavy industries, uh, with the reference of uh, steels, metal industries, process industries as well. In case of uh, line of balance, in other words, the layout which equals to operation times at the successive operation in the process. So if you see in case of the present scenario, uh, especially reference to uh, the core manufacturing sector, they have uh, they've arranged uh, or they have balanced their line in an efficient way that uh, secure different kind of capacity operation to fulfill the demand of uh, various potential customers. Uh, moving to next ones, uh, I just read uh, one by one, then we'll go to the formula part. So in case of line of balance uh, procedures, so first we have to draw or label the precedence diagrams. It is very much similar to your network diagrams. The next uh, point is that calculate the desired cycle times required for the lines. The third one is calculate the theoretical minimum number of workstations. And the fourth one is group element into workstation and recognize recognizing cycles, times and precedence constants. The fifth uh, step is calculate the efficiency of lines. And the last one is determine if theoretical number of work stations or an acceptable efficiency level has been reached. If it is reached, this, this, that is your answer. If it is not reached, again, you go directly go back to step number four. So these are the uh, different procedure or step in case of line of balance. So I advise all of you just note down the formulas in case of calculating the theoretical minimum number of workstations. Here is the formula. In case of uh, calculating the workstation cycle per times, the formula uh, that equals to production time per day divided by required output per day in units. Then in case of theoretical minimum number of workstations that stand for NT, that equals to sum of task time divided by cycle times. And the next one is desired cycle time that equals to production time available divided by desired unit of outputs. So I advise all of you just note down the formulas, then move to solve uh, some numerical related to line of balance. Is it finished? You just uh, provide your response in case of chart box that will move for, forward to the next slide. There is a small announcement from uh, institute side that uh, physical class will be continue from Monday onwards. All of you got the notifications? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, yes. Sangram Kesari Sahu. Yes, sir. You are in Odisha or West Bengal? Yes, sir. I am in West Bengal, sir. Okay. So you, you join day after tomorrow? No, sir. I can't join, sir. Because I have a... No, I am asking about that internship. Sir, I am in class, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Achha, class, sir. 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 Is it finished from your side? So just one minute. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, take your time. Yes, sir, finished. Okay, just a minute. Okay, moving to the next ones. The next formula is for line balancing performance or calculating the performance of line balance. So here it is divided into two types. One is calculating the efficiency that stands for E. E equals to summation of Ti divided by N into Ca. And the next one is minimum number of workstations that stand for capital N that equals to summation of Ti divided by Cd. So here Ti stands for completion time for element I and small n stand for actual number of workstations and ca stand for actual cycle times and cd stand for digits cycle times just note down the formulas
Is it finished from your side? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir. So yes. Sir, बोल रहा था सर exam के हमारा offline ही होगा जब class कौन कौन बोल कौन बोल कौन बोल रहा था? Yes, sir. Still, we are not receive any notification from university side. So we hope that probably uh, there is no uh, that means there is no chances of uh, third wave. Uh, but uh, due to uh, take precautions regarding COVID nineteen situations, uh, the university will provide the notifications before the uh, uh, that is uh, time given in case of uh, board of meetings. Uh, that before twenty third September they will. Notify regarding your examination, whether it should be online or off offline mode. So whenever I find any kind of notification from the beauty side, I will inform you through your WhatsApp group. Don't worry about that. You can continue your SIPs dedicatedly and honestly to achieve and expose more knowledge regarding Flipkart Launchpad programs. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, here we have uh, around five number of formula. First one is Calculation of work cycle times, then theoretical minimum number of work sessions. The third one is desire calculating the desire cycle times. The next one is calculating the performance of line balancing, including in case of efficiency and minimum number of work sessions. So here is the problem statements. This is the problem statements in McDonald's Bhubaneswar's is revamping its order processing and burger making process. So burger making process, and the demand of burger is 120 per night. That should be start from 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. In order to deliver fresh burgers, first six element must be completed. So here the work element are there. This, this is the total. If you see in case of column number one, we have six number of work element is there. First one is receive the orders. The next is save the top. The next third one is prepare the toppings. The fourth one is assemble the burgers. The next one is bake the burger, and last one is deliver the burgers. And the, there are uh, different precedence is given in case of A, B, C, D, E, and their time is given. That is two, one, two, again three, three, three for last three elements. I repeat, in McDonald Bobnesios, it revamping its order processing and burger making process. The demand for burger that is one twenty per night. And the time should be start from 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. in order to deliver fresh burger. First six element must be completed. So this is the problem statement. You have to calculate or balance the line according to the given data in case of the numericals. So what is the first step? You have to draw the precedence diagram. Try to draw the precedence diagram as per the given tables. Yes, anyone? That that should be start from A, then A to B, again from A to C, then from B to D again, from C to D, and finally from D to E. Similarly, from E to F. This is the precedence diagram. Prithisna Jena, have you finished? No sir. Yes, anyone? Yes, sir. Over. Robin, have you finished? Yes, sir. Rosalind, what time? Yes, sir. Have you finished the precedence diagram or label diagram? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll show that precedence diagram in the next slide. 
So this is the precedence diagram. You can see as per the given tables from A to B. The next one is from A to C again, from B to D and C to D. Similarly, from D to E and E to F. In the next part of your precedence diagram, you have to mention the different time which is given in the tables. For A, that is given how much? One. So that is two. In case of uh, B, that is one. In case of C, that is two. In case of D, that is three. In case of E, that is three. And again, in case of F, that is three. Sir, previous example that you see, sir, F nine thirty. No, there is no F is delivery of burgers from E to F. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, just draw all of all are advised to draw this particular label in case of precedence diagram. Is the step one is complete? Yes, sir. Okay. The next one is you have to calculate the desired cycle time required for the lines. What is the formula for desired cycle time? Sir, production, production time, time average available by desired units of output. So, what is the production time is available? Anyone? Say six hours. Okay, if you convert into minutes, six hours or eight hours. Five p.m. to one p.m. Yes, sir. Eight hours. Yes, that is yes, eight sir. hours. So eight hours. Exactly. Five p.m. to sir. one. Eight hours. If you convert that, you that equals how much? How many minutes? Four eighty. Yes. And how? Four eighty. What is the what is the uh, demand of burger per night? One twenty. One twenty. You can see here. So this is the production time available. That is starting from five p.m. to one a.m. That equals to eight hours. If you convert this one into minutes, that is four eighty minutes. And desired unit of output in case of demand of burger, that is one twenty per night. So if you calculate the desired cycle per time, that equals to production time per day, that is four eighty minutes divided by one twenty, that is four minutes. Is it clear to all? Those who have not finished, try to note down. Yes, is it finished from your side? So just a minute. Okay. Yes, is it finished? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Moving to step yes, number three. Uh, in that case, you have to going to calculate the theoretical minimum number of workstations. In case of theoretical minimum number of workstations, I'll show that particular slide. For calculating the theoretical minimum number of workstations, the formula is sum of task time divided by cycle times. In case of task time that is given for individual work element. For A that is two, again for B it is one. For C two, again 
d e f that carries the time of 3 minutes and divide by 4 that equals to 3.5 or 4 minutes is it clear Yes. Yes, I finished. Okay, moving to next one. The next one is grouping of your different element. That is group of element into workstation or recognize there there are cycle times and precedence constant are there. In that case, we have actual cycle time that is four minutes and actual number of workstation that is four. So here I group A and C and B and D. This is the group. If you calculate this number of workstations, this is the first group, this is the second, this is third, and this is fourth. So, can you please explain once again? Yes, I repeat. In case of grouping element, we directly go to the problem statement. In that problem statement, for example, in case of A, it's directly mentioned that is receive of orders. So, after receiving the orders, you just directly go for preparing. Oh, sorry, just I show that the clerk. That is receive of orders and prepare of toppings. So in case of burger makings, it is directly in, in case of grouping. In that case, you must go to the work element, whatever the data is given in case of uh, making uh, any kind of metal product or making different food and beverage, making cold drinks, you can consider the different work element. So according to their function, you must go for the grouping of different work centers. So here I group A and C and B and D. In case of receive order, it does must go for the production manager must be go for prepare of toppings. You know, in case of budget making, the topping is very much essential or very much important for, for providing delicious quality of flavors. The next part, in case of shape dopped, in case of burger, there's a different type of shape dop should be prepared and that should be assembled in case of budgets. So that's why I assemble or group, make the group A and C and B and D. Is it clear? A yes, and C sir. and B and D. So we have one group is A and C, another group is B and D, the next group is C and last group is F. That is deliver the workers to the customers. So if you see the scenario of grouping element, we have the actual time that is four minutes and we have actual number of workstation that is four minutes. Four number of workstation is there. Sir? Yes. Sir, actually uh, here uh, there are three groups only. Only four, four, four number of groups. Sir, uh, A to C one group, B to D one group, and E to F one group. Uh, three. No, no, not E to F. E is separate group. If you see the function of E work element E, what is the function of work element? You have already noted that is making a burgers. This is a separate group because in that case the production department is very much responsible. And last one is deliver of your burgers. This is another group. This is another workstation. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Still, you have doubts. For example, if you go a recognized restaurant, in that case, there are several departments are there. Try to understand the concept behind line of balance. For example, in case of go for assemble of automotive sectors, car manufacturing sectors, they have several number of lines are there in case of especially uh, reference to assembles. For example, engine assemble segment is there, body assemble segment is there, paint shop is there, quality control shop is there. So if you go to that particular part, you must you do not combine the paint shop along with your uh, engine assemble segment. So this is a separate, a separate kinds. 
in case of engine assembly segments i will go for different component or different uh, sub component of assemblies you directly go to the different function of different work elements you can, cannot uh, combine uh, the paint shop with your body assembly shop cannot group because these are different uh, they, they have different entities or as well as different function are concerned is it clear similarly if you take the example of restaurant in case of any uh, multi star hotels if you go to that particular place they have different departments and sub departments are there they have their individual workstations are there so if you order the order directly goes to the production shop or production workshop so in case of production workshop workshop they have different uh, sub departments are there you can combine the different sub work elements but cannot combine the receive order and uh, delivery orders these are different workstations is it clear yes sir yes sir yes sir okay so we have actual number of workstation that is four we combine a and c b and d e is a separate workstation and f is a separate so total four number of workstation we have is it clear yes sir okay go to last step calculate the efficiency of lines we have the formula that is e is equals to summation of t into n into ca just calculate that one you can use the efficiency formula Yes. What is the efficiency here? no one sir completion time for element jo hai wo uh, jo work element mein time diya hua hai wo add karenge hmm to sir 14 divided by 4 so 14 not 4 and how much the number of actual workstation is sir 0.875 that is how much uh, if you convert that is how much uh, percentage uh, sir 887.5 87.5. That is the correct answer. You can see in the uh, uh, formulation of uh, efficiency that is summation of Ti. The time is already calculated. That is 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. And here n equals to how much? Number of workstations. That is 4. And actual four time and is. Four times four. Yes. That is 16. That much. If you calculate this once, the answer is 87.5 percent. If you convert into percentage. This is the efficiency of your line. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Moving to the last step. Yes. Any doubt from anyone? No, sir. Okay. Moving to the last ones. Check if the performance measures are satisfactory or not. So here we have actual number of workstation that is four, efficiency of line that is eighty-seven point five, and the theoretical number of workstation that is four. So this is justify this line is perfectly balanced because the actual number of workstation that is four and theoretical number of workstation that is also four. Is it clear? This is your answer. Sir, actual number of work session and theoretical number of work session uh, is the same. Then uh, we say that uh, then, then the lines is, then the lines is perfectly balanced. Okay, this is your answer statement. Is it clear? I just repeat the same things from the beginnings. So this is the problem statement we have. We have six number of uh, work element, 
starting from receive order to deliver the deliver of burgers and their precedence is given from a to b and a to c again b to d and c to d and d to e and e to f and their respective time is given that is 2 1 2 3 3 3 so first we have to go for draw the precedence diagrams as per the given statements from a to b again a to c from b to d and c to d and finally from d to e and e to f and their respective time should be mentioned on the top moving to next part in the second step we have to go for calculating the desired cycle time required for the lines the formula is production time per day divided by required output per the output per the day so in case of desired sorry in case of calculating the desired cycle times specially reference to production time per day that is uh, given 5 pm to 1 am that equals to 8 hours if you convert this 8 hours into minutes that is 480 minutes and the production output is given or required output is given 120 number of workers if you convert this once for calculating the desired cycle time that is 4 minutes moving to step number 3 for calculating the theoretical minimum number of work station that equals to sum of task time divided by cycle times so here the sum of task time is given 14 and cycle time is given 4 so that equals to 3.5 in that case you have to uh, that is equivalent to your 4 minutes or four number of work stations that is the fix so that is not minutes it's four number of uh, work stations this is the theoretical uh, minimum number of work stations moving to next ones for calculating the next step you have to go for group the different uh, element into work stations we have made four number of uh, groups the first group is combined a and c work element the second group is b and d work element and the next third one is group uh, sorry work element e and the last one is group work element f so we have four number of uh, work station is there so if you compare uh, if you move to next step for calculating the efficiencies the formula is summation of ti divided by n into ca and summation of ti that equals to 14 here n is the number of work station and c is the actual number of so the actual number of cycle time that is 4 minutes that equals to 87.5 that is the efficiency of your line moving to next ones if you compare the problem statements we have the actual number of work station that is four number of and efficiency is 87.5% and theoretical number of work station that is four so that's why if you compare between actual number of work station versus your theoretical number of work station that equals to four so uh we draw the conclusion that the line is perfectly balanced with the efficiency of 87.5% is it clear so we have to match it with the theoretical number of oxidations yes 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 okay so moving to solve another one so this is for to solve this one for your side in dominos outlet in order to processing and pizza making processing sequence are given the demand of for so that is pizza is around 200 for night that is start from 2 pm to 10 pm in order to deliver fresh that is i just change this one pizza fast six element must be completed so here the problem statement receive order save the dot prepare the dropping assemble the pizza bag the pizza and deliver the pizza and we have the different precedence from a to b a to c b to d and c to d and d to e and e to f and their respective time is given 2 3 2 3 5 3 just calculate the different aspect and try to balance the lines the precedence diagram is very much similar to previous one 
but the tax time is different. I repeat the precedence diagram as compared to the previous uh, problems is very much similar, but the tax time is different. Yes, what is the step number two? What is the answer for step number two? Calculating the DJ cycle time. So two minutes. Two minutes. That is two minutes. 480 divided by 200. How much? 2.4. The time is already mentioned. That is 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. How much time is there? Eight hours. And this is 200. Yes, moving forward to calculate the theoretical minimum number of work stations. What is the answer for calculating the theoretical minimum number of work stations? So nine. Nine. So 7.5. 7.5. So 2.4 he lenge. Ha, yes, 2.4. What is the sum of uh, tax time? So 18. The answer is 7.5. 7.5. That should be so considered. 7.5. That is 8 number of machines. Or eight number of positions. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay, moving to next ones. The grouping must be same. That is two point four. And four number of first station is there. Is it clear? Here I am showing the previous one because it is difficult to draw in case of PPTs. So just ignore those values of for tax times in case of A, B, C, D, E, F. You have to put the new values. But in case of grouping of uh, or different workstation is very much equal in case of previous ones. The next is uh, step number five, calculating the efficiencies. What is the value of efficiencies or what is the percentage of efficiency? Sir, 187.5. 187.5. What is the sum here? So 93 percent. 18. And this one is 2.4. Yes, sir. How much it is? What is the percentage of efficiency? 187. 187. So 187.5. 187.5. Yes, sir. 1.875 1. and sir, then yes, percentage 187.5. Yes, sir. Okay, we mentioned that one. So 
सर एटीन डिवाइडेड बाय नाइनटीन पॉइंट टू यस देन वन पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव नाइन पॉइंट टू और नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स सर नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स सर नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स एक्जेक्टली एटीन डिवाइड बाय नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स That is how much? One. One point eight seven five. One point eight seven five. If you convert into percent. Eighteen point seven five. Eighteen point seven five. Yes. So what is the uh, statement? Actual number of first person is how much? So one point eight seven five. When we convert in percentage, it will be one eighty seven point five. No. Yes, yes sir. One eighty seven. One eighty seven point five. Point five. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, if you see the problem statement, uh, actual number of first person that is how much? So four. Four. Okay. So four. In case of theoretical number of first persons. Eight, eight, and efficiency is one eighty seven point five. That means the line is not perfectly balanced. Yes, sir. Just note down. The efficiency is beyond the performance level. Just note down. The efficiency is beyond the performance level. That is one eighty seven point five percent. And the actual number of work station is not equal to the theoretical number of work stations. Just note down the actual number of work stations. It's not equal to the theoretical number of work stations. It is clear. Yes, sir. So in this step, yes, sir. You have to directly go to step number four, grouping of element into group element into workstations. So we have previously four number of workstations. Clear. And in case of actual number of workstations, that is eight. So we have to make balance between four and eight. to convert this efficiency below 100 percent is it clear yes once again i just repeat the statement the actual number of first person is 4 but in case oh sorry actual number of first person is not equal to the theory theoretical So the theoretical number of work stations, and the efficiency is beyond the performance level. That is one eighty-seven point five percent. Clear. So just under the try down, the line is not perfectly balanced. Is it clear? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. This is your uh, problem statement because in case of your numericals, that you have to go for line of valence. Check the whether the line is perfectly valence or perfectly invalence. That is the condition is given. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. So moving forward to the next topics, just note down economic order quantities. In bracket, just note down. Economic order quantity. Bracket note down. Model number two. 
हाइफेन इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल टेक्निक हाइफेन इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल टेक्निक So under that, write down the uh, common definitions. The economic order quantity under that write down the economic order quantity is the label of inventor. is the label of inventor order of which order of which the inventory cost is minimum Is it clear? I repeat, economic order is the level of inventor order of which inventory cost is minimum. Moving to next one, point number two. Just note down. The economic order quantity is the technique. I repeat the economic order quantity, or in short, you can write U Q is the technique which solve the problem of so is the technique which solve the problem of problem of materials. manager the materials manager yes material managers to reduce the cost or optimize the cost of inventories optimize the cost of inventories the next one last one just write down the uq that minimize that minimize is my voice is audible hello yes sir yes sir okay just a minute i am facing network issue okay uh, that minimize the sum of ordering so the u q that minimize ha u q means economic order quantity is the order size that i just repeat 
the economic order quantity or in short eoq is the order size that minimize the sum of ordering the sum of ordering and holding costs sum of ordering and holding cost related to raw material related to raw material and merchandise inventory the next write down term used in eoq next write down term used in eoq just note down the first one ordering cost Is it finished from your side? So under yes, that, sir. yes, yes. Under ordering cost, just note down. The ordering cost are the ordering cost are cost are the cost. that are incurred that are incurred every time an order for inventory an order for inventory is placed with the supplier is placed with the supplier same line continue the examples are the examples are telephone charges delivery charges invoice verification expenses and payment processing expenses etc i repeat telephone charges delivery charges invoice verification expenses and payment processing expenses etc moving to next ones the next one is holding costs just note down in case of holding cost the holding cost are the cost I repeat the holding cost are the cost that incurred that are incurred to hold the inventory to hold the inventory in a store or warehouse
same line continue the examples are so inventory in inventory in a store or warehouse The examples are just note down. The examples include occupancy of storage space, then comma rent. The next is uh, insurance and property tax, etc. Insurance and property tax, etc. So these are the two common costs which is included in case of calculating economic order quantity, sorry, ordering cost and uh, in case of your holding cost. So I repeat in case of ordering cost, these are the cost which incurred every time uh, an order for inventory is placed with the suppliers in case of holding cost it is uh, the cost which is directly incurred to hold the inventory in a store and warehouse so there is a question arise what is the difference between store and warehouse anyone St sir store is the shop and warehouse is go down okay any other Yes, anyone? Ritika Manti. What is the difference between store and warehouse? Uh, so, store is a place uh, so where uh, the products are stored. So, but warehouse, it is assembled and made. Okay. Priti Osopa. Yes, sir. Yes. So, store is the main center, like it is the main shop, but uh, warehouse is the place from where we, uh, means uh, we distribute the goods. Okay. The basic difference between store and warehouse that, in case of storehouse, that uh, products should be stored for a longer period but in case of warehouse that should be maximum 48 hours the duration of storing the goods in case of warehouse that should be limited to 48 hours is it clear if you take the example of fci godowns so in most cases the crop the grain should be stored for maximum 48 hours after that that should be dispersed to different uh, destinations but in case of stores the product, the uh, tools, the machines, uh, that should be uh, stored for a longer period. That should be maximum uh, your three to six months in that case. And in case of store, the layout is uh, very much small. But in case of warehouse, the layout is very much larger. If you take the example of FCA go down, so any warehouse or any kind of uh, cold storage also. These are the typical or basic difference between say, your warehouse versus your stores. The next you can write the formulas for calculating the economic order quantities. So here the formula that is square root of 2 ds divided by h and q stands for economic order quantity units, d stands for demand units that is typically on an annual basis and s stands for ordering cost that is for purchase order or h stands for holding cost that is for unit for years. Just note down the formulas. So the slide is changed. So not visible. Not visible. Just a minute. I'll show another one. Just a minute. So this is two different type of economic order quantity formulas. Just note down the first one.
Is it clear to all? Yes, sir. Moving to the next uh, formulas. That is C O K equals to square root of two into D into C O divided by C H. The notation are notation are changed, but the meaning are remain same. D stand for demand per year, C O stand for cost per order, and C H stand for cost of holding per unit of inventories. And previously we have mentioned in case of holding cost that is H, and demand that is remain same. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, your CO stand for that is the cost of ordering. Did it finish? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. In the next class, we will continue to solve. So you are not audible. Yes, sir.